Uh, well, now it's time to look at the other case, which is uh, super down here. And uh, what we've got is uh, pretty much the same, except that now uh, my list is a list of high. And uh, here we've got uh, list 2, which is a something which it is super low. And uh, what that means, of course, is that uh, it will accept list of type T, where T is uh, low or any super type of low. Okay, so it will certainly accept uh, my list there because I is indeed a subtype of low, so that's acceptable to it. So you can do that assignment without any problems. Okay, right. Well, uh, now uh, if we try to add stuff to it, uh, we can do this. Um, uh, we can add a new low in because um, what we know is that uh, this list two is a super type of low so even if it were object uh, adding a new low would be acceptable because um, uh, low is an object for example so that's not a problem so automatically that's going to be okay and it is anyway and it refers of course to the same thing as uh, my list so we did have a list of high so uh, that doesn't matter though because we know it's okay if I will we try to add a new high in uh, we get a compiler error and the reason for that is um, uh, what we know about list two is that it is some super has a list of some super type of low. So um, in the worst case, it could be low. Um, I'm thinking of super type here, by the way, as having the possibility of being low as well, built in as it were, as well as being an actual proper super type. So um, it could, in fact, be low because we can't assume that it is um, uh, it refers to a list of high so uh, because of that uh, you can't um, you can't add a new high in you see because we can only tell this because it's written in front of us like this we can tell it refers to the same thing uh, the compiler certainly can't make that decision and we can only tell because it's immediately above it in obvious if this were um, if this assignment um, depended on um, some random variable or another we'd not be able to make any decision like that so quite rightly we have to go by what the type says not what we can deduce from the code so that's why that has to give a compiler error because in fact it may be a list of uh, low this two could be a list of low so that high would not be acceptable now when we get stuff out we get uh, when we get problems as well um, if we try to extract stuff uh, we know it's some uh, super type of low so um, in the worst case it could be object for example in which case we'd not be able to assign that object to a high or to a low at all so both of those would give compiler errors the only thing we can do is assign it to object like that and that's okay now a couple of other things um, question mark just by itself is uh, it stands for something which extends object and um, that is also the same thing by the way if it was possible to write it as something which is super null type as I say if it were possible to write that which it isn't but that's sometimes worth bearing in mind when you're doing manipulation of these things now both extend and super here um, require that you supply a type um, or if it's just that by the way it would be extend object but they require that you supply some sort of type here uh, which in turn it can be a parameterized type and because it can be a parameterized type it can have wildcards itself just to make things complicated and uh, wildcard forms basically like this are treated as types in their own right and uh, you can use them as formal parameter types in method declarations so uh, obviously we've got to study these in a lot more detail and that's what we'll do next